Hi all, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a tour of my Christmas decorations in my home. Um, I am going to speak softly here because if you're anything like me, I've had a very stressful past couple of weeks and I finally get to relax and enjoy my decor. So I want you guys to relax along with me as we take a brief tour here. You'll see lots of animated figures, which I love. Uh, vintage um, other decorations such as knickknacks, ornaments, lights, a lot of festive things, minty greens, lots of bright reds, and some nice decor. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you're all doing well. And this is my living room right now. Um, so let's see what else I have. You'll see here some uh, magazines. They are issues from the Golden Glow of Christmas Past. It is a organization for vintage and antique Christmas enthusiasts such as myself. Uh, check them out on Facebook and online, Golden Glow. These are some vintage salt and pepper shakers. I have a set here on this shelf and I also have another set right there. Um, the lighting is kind of soft, but I think you'll be all right with that because it is a very calming type of atmosphere. Um, this is one of my favorite Telco motionettes. It is the Snow Queen and a very, very special person helped me decorate here from afar. And they suggested that I set this up to look like Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale, The Snow Queen. So that's would be Kai and Gerda, who are the children in that story. And these are also Telco motionettes, they're carolers, but they serve the purpose for this vignette. This wreath was given to me by my aunt, so it has a special spot right in front of the TV or above the TV. I have the Yule Log playing, so if you hear some crackling effects and noises, that's what that is in the background. Um, I have an Anna Lee snowman to the left and a nice arrangement to the right. Some vintage looking snow people, obviously with some buffalo snow, and we're going to scale back here a little bit as I take a brief rest on my couch to look at my coffee table and uh, I got the snow globe at Michael's this year and the uh, Christmas mice are vintage. Love the colors on them, they're very nicely painted. I think I bought them on Etsy or eBay and uh, it wouldn't be Christmas without the nativity and some angels. So these are um, a lot of the Fontanini Italian nativity pieces. Um, and the crate and the, the actual stable is from a previous set. I still have that set, but I like this set better, and so that's why I have it under my tree this year. We're going to see now my Christmas tree. Uh, lots of newer ornaments, vintage ornaments, some that I had since I was a kid, some are new. Uh, we have the Kurt Adler Wizard of Oz, some Cinderella ornaments, um, also by Kurt Adler, very retro. Um, you'll see Glinda to the right. You'll see some other Disney characters, um, you know, Christmas standards. Uh, Elsa is to the left there. I think that's a Lennox ornament. We have the Yeti smack dab in the center, the big white fluffy guy. Uh, the big kind of poinsettia right there is a handmade ceramic. Red Riding Hood peeking out there with Princess Aurora from Disney. Two very special pets, um, my aunt's dog who passed and then my brother's cat who passed both within the past year. So um, love them. Puss in Boots, uh, a name ornament, and some other details and embellishments to make the uh, Christmas tree extra festive. This angel uh, I bought at um, Goodwill, but it reminds me of one that my parents had when I was a very young child, and so that's why I kind of pay homage to things that are retro vintage and remind me of my childhood.
Over here we have another blow mold reindeer and a Christmas witch. It was requested by someone special that I add a Christmas witch to my decor, so I couldn't pass up the opportunity. This caroler set was um, once my na Nana's, and it's one of my favorite decorations of all time. Very nicely painted handmade ceramics with um, some glitter and fake snow details, obviously with the cute little dachshund puppy here. I think that's what kind of dog that is. And of course, the lamppost gives a nice glow. This guy is an animated porcelain Santa. Um, he does work. I just don't have him plugged in this year. I didn't want to use too many outlets because I think I'm at a maximum with how many lights and animated things I already have. Um, over here on my futon, I have some pillows and um, some stuffed Santas and elves. Perfect for the couch and to add to the festive um, feel of this room. And then, of course, have to love some vinyl, Christmas vinyls that uh, were either my parents or that I recently purchased. Uh, my bestie gave me a record player, so I've been playing that here and there. Santa Claus is coming to town. We're going to see one last look of the uh, living room as a whole, and then I'm going to take you guys into my kitchen where I have some more Christmas decorations. This is on top of my refrigerator, and it's some vintage pieces that I kind of pieced together as like a vignette um, with the garland poinsettia, um, ceramics, uh, snowman blow mold in the back there with a crate, um, two planter girls, and then a air freshener with a planter snowman. So I really like the kind of fresh, bright colors, um, the reds, the greens. Uh, this really kind of harkens back to simpler times when it comes to Christmas. Then this is in my little hutch um, cabinet area. Um, I kind of had this kind of shifted and rotated, but I kind of I'm going to leave it like this for now. Um, you know, obviously a ceramic Christmas tree, some very special pictures of my Nana. Uh, rest in peace. I always think of her and this was her favorite time of year. So she has to be included in my decor. A nice little piece here and little arrangement that I bought this year at the holiday market where I work. Um, so that's cool. And then, of course, some more planters. These were once my Nana's, and they were passed down to me last year. So uh, these are something that I cherish, and I'm going to put out every single year. I like them in my kitchen because um, they were on a hutch when my Nana displayed them and my aunt who put the display together. So it kind of is reminiscent of how they displayed them. Um, but lots of bright reds, greens, nice arrangements and things. And last but not least, these are a trio of candles that spell out J-O-Y for joy. And a salt lamp in the back to give a nice calming feel. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for staying tuned to my channel this year. Hopefully I'll post more content in 2020. Merry Christmas, happy holidays for whatever you celebrate, and a successful 2020.